Hello, it's me again. I just want to say a big thanks to everyone that watched the unboxing video and I'm glad so many people liked it and gave me their feedback. We're going to do a little update video and I'm going to try and answer some of the questions everyone's been asking me, so uh, bear with me. Hello. Have you seen this? You got 400,000 views on YouTube. You were number one in Reddit videos. It's never enough, is it? Your little butt broke the internet. Okay, Herman's got his appetite back, so it's now feeding time. I've got Herman some nice weeds and greens that I picked from outside. They're really the best thing for him. And I've also got a bit of Nutribal, which is like a calcium supplement. Tortoises need a lot of calcium in their diet as well as vitamin D. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that on. And give it to him. Okay, while Herman's having his lunch here, I'm going to try and answer some questions that I got from the last video. A big concern was the fridge that he was hibernating in. Basically a lot of people were asking about um, is it airtight, can he breathe, does he have enough oxygen, would he not suffocate? Um, no, basically in the wild Herman's breed of tortoise will bury themselves underground and their heart rate will slow down and their breathing will slow down a lot too so they don't have a lot of oxygen. Um, a website that I really trust for hibernating tortoises is, is the Tortoise Trust and when I'm reading up about the fridge method on their website they said open the fridge a couple of times a week and it'll be fine. I was opening the fridge every day just to be sure and he's fine, he turned out great. I'm going to put some links in the description below One's for the Tortoise Trust that I just mentioned and the other's for a forum called Shelled Warriors. And these are really good resources for tortoises and tortoise keeping. And I highly recommend checking them out. If you're just interested in tortoises or if you're thinking of getting one or even if you're just, I don't know, maybe if you already have one and you just want to know a bit more. Some other people were asking about his breed. His breed is actually a Herman's tortoise, yeah, so the breed's called Herman and he's also called Herman. I put a lot of thought into that name, as you can probably imagine. Um, some people are also asking about how long he'll live. Um, Herman's breed will typically live till about 90 if they're looked after right, which I think I'm doing. And um, yeah, about 90 years old, I think we'll grow old together. Sounds good. Some people had a lot of questions about hibernation, if all tortoises hibernate or not, or whether they should hibernate their tortoises. I feel personally it's really up to the owner. I know that Herman's breed in the wild would hibernate, so I try and keep it close to that and just hibernate them anyway. Um, there are some breeds of tortoises, more kind of tropical tortoises, that don't hibernate because they're from warmer climates. I can also see it in Herman's behaviour during the winter. I can see that he slows down a lot and it's almost as if his body is telling him that he needs to hibernate. As for pros and cons of hibernation, this is a quote from hermanstortoise.co.uk which is a quite a reliable source and it says to artificially keep a tortoise awake all year would increase the food intake to at least double the safe amount this would lead to abnormal growth and cause metabolic bone disease leading to lumpy shells. It would also put immense strain on the renal system as nutrient production would be over increased, this leading to kidney or bladder stones and eventual death. Um, so there, um, obviously that's just for Herman's breed of tortoise. Also if you have a really young tortoise it might be a bit too dangerous to try and hibernate them. And that's me for today. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you found it worthwhile. I'll put a couple of links in the description below, some from my 
art page, I do an illustration where I draw a lot of tortoises and other animals, and also to some tortoise-based resources where you, if you're fancying getting a tortoise, I'd highly recommend doing your research first and checking out some of these sites. Okay, thank you. Are you going to wave goodbye? Bye guys.